All right, I'm gonna go over what DriveHUD EQ is, uh, how it works, how to use it, what kind of value it'll add to your post-game analysis. Uh, I think a tool like this is extremely, extremely important in a person's poker growth. I think when you understand how to analyze a hand properly and you're breaking up your hands into proper ranges and looking at the correct balance, for different spots you have in a hand. When you truly, really understand that and you're doing that work on your post flip, uh, on your post, uh, your post game sessions here, um, I know it's definitely tedious and it takes a lot of work, but the reason it's going to make you a better poker player is because you're going to understand, you know, how to value bet properly, how to value bet light properly, um, when you should be bluffing better, you're going to understand when you should be making hero calls, all those kinds of things are going to be illuminated the more work you do with tools like this. So um, the beauty of this is, you know, with DriveHUD, you get it right built in. It takes a second to run through. It makes everything as painless as possible to set this up rather than having to take hands out, plug it into some third-party application, punch everything in, blah, blah, blah. Nope, it's all done right here for you. Um, uh, you know, I love taking a look at hands like this in this fashion. So I have a hand here selected. It's King King. Um, it's just a, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and just replay it so you can see what the actual hand is and how it played out. Here, hero has kings, opponent has queens, and it's open, and then three bet, and then called, flop comes five high, opponent checks, goes check call, turns a queen, opponent leads, hero shoves, and of course, opponent calls. So, you know, there's nothing super mysterious about this if you have any knowledge of poker, but we're just going to take a look at what kinds of hands opponent should have in a spot like this. We're going to kind of break it down from the opponent's point of view um, and how that looks, their range versus what hero's actual hand is, where their equity was, what the hand groupings are, and all that kind of stuff. So any hand you have in DriveHUD, just right-click, select Calculate Equity, we're going to have Hero's hand up here, um, the final run out of the board, and opponent's hand. Like I said, we're going to look at this from opponent's perspective, so we're going to click on range. And we're going to click on auto range. Um, this part of DriveHUD EQ is still in the later parts of uh, beta because there's just a lot of calculations that it's using to take in account uh, opponent and hero stats in, in a hand and how the hand is actually playing to auto assign different hand range groups. But this is kind of the brilliance of this tool and how you can use it to become a better poker player. Um, so first of all, after I hit auto range, um, I'm going to get all these different hand groupings in different colors. They're uh, indicated down here at the bottom under DriveHUD EQ, if you highlight, you can see the value bets and raises are in blue. So those are my value bets and raises. My bluffs are in orange. Those are my combos. My calls are in green. And uh, because this was opponent betting and calling, there's no check fold. But DriveHUD EQ breaks up these hand ranges into these four different groupings. Um, and when you're doing analysis, uh, you want to take a look at, you know, um, for example, if you were betting on the flop, let's say you just makes things simple. You're, you're making a pot size bet um, of a C bet on the flop. You want to make sure that you have twice as many uh, bluffs in a spot like that as you do uh, value bets. And as you get later into the streets, those change and your bet sizing is going to uh, influence your uh, bluff to value ratios, but you want to make sure that you have, um, you know, a proper balance of, of all these hands. So here, for example, if there's something I want to tweak. Let's say I want to add king queen here as a call and a spot for my opponent, which I think is reasonable. I could add that hand in. You can see at the top right, um, it tags the total number of combos for that hand. So obviously we're moving the queen of hearts here. So we have three total combos that are going to be listed down here. If I want to take out some combinations of those hands, I can just uh, click here and get the combos reduced. 
It'll also change on the right hand side here, just a visual representation of what made hands uh, there's going to be in this scenario based on the hands that are here. Um, but uh, again, the main use of this is I want to take a look at um, the ratios of value bets, bluffs, things like that, making sure I'm, I have a good balance of all these types of hands in each of these scenarios. Um, so the auto range will get you started and you can modify, you can, if you want to remove a hand, you can just double click it, I want to add it back in, highlight it there. When I have what I want down, I can go ahead and click save, um, and then uh, I'm actually going to remove the turn card here. And um, you're going to get some basic um, advice um, when when the ratios are a little bit off. It wants you to have a one-to-one -one, uh, value to bluff ratio in general on the turn. And just click calculate equity. And you get an idea. So, you know, a hero's shove in this spot was definitely crushing their range against, uh, you know, a reasonable range. And as we said, when we're replaying, of course, we know, yeah, it's totally fine to get it in there. Um, but uh, <clears throat> this is just a, a really, you know, simple overview of what Drive HUD EQ can do. And um, the, the real beauty of it is being able to take any hands that you've played and really break it down street by street you go to the flop you go to the turn you go to the river everything that you want and make sure that you are looking at a proper balance um drive hud eq will look like i said kind of a general ratio is value to bluff two to one um bluff to value on the flop one to one bluff to value on the turn and uh one to two uh, bluff to value on the river. Um, it's kind of a recommended uh, guideline overall, but um, you know the, the the beauty in it is that you'll be able to really see more clearly how many hands you can add in, how many more combos you can really add in in these spots, and, and that you should in order to keep your opponents honest or to squeeze more value out of them. Um, so, yeah, that, that's just one thing. And then if you want to just quickly adjust some of these ranges, you can go through and say, I, no, I don't, I don't want this. I want to remove one of the semi-bluff combos or something. I can just X that out, recalculate. Um, but, yeah, so that, that's, that's really um, the beauty and simplicity of it again. And, uh, you know, I'll do some more videos and explain this more in depth, but this is a good kind of starter video, get you an idea of, of what you can do with it. And like I said, I just I highly recommend if you're not really familiar with thinking about ranges in, in this manner, um, start start to because it's it's going to make you an immensely better poker. I don't care what level of poker you're at or how much you've won or, or wherever your success is. Um, you know, this is really... Um, you know, another part of the evolution of poker game theory, which has been talked about for the last several years extensively. Um, this kind of breaks down the, the, this, you know, how to make it a little bit more applicable and easy in the post flop analysis part so that you can actually work with the ranges really, really easily. So anyways, uh, like I said, this is a really simple overview, but I hope it helps you out and uh, wish you much success in your poker game.